uh, hello welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you the, the basic idea how to create a post filter using Ajax um, actually um, there is a post filter function on the bricks itself uh, if you're using post widget or post element there is um, configuration for enabling the the filter but um, it's use isotop that's mean it's only hide the item when you uh, sort or fill filter the the, the 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 item based on the categories or based on the term so if you see on my console um, the item is still there so um, I have a three item for page for for uh, page since I'm using pagination. If, if I click all, the three of them is show up. But if I click uh, only one use, so only one is show up. Uh, it's it's not it's it's it, it's nice enough, but it's not really good since I have like uh, six or seven item on use. So ideally. Uh, if I click news, so uh, the three of item, the three item of the news uh, from the news uh, categories, it should show up here. But uh, since it's using isotop, uh, it's only hide, uh, not really reloading the item, so it can show uh, the, the 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 three item of each uh, category. It's it's not really good, I think in my opinion yeah so uh, I'm gonna use um, Ajax filter based on this article so there is a really good article I found it's from uh, com. Uh, it's, it's hard to spell but I will um, share the link with you on the video description so let's start shall we the first thing to do is um, let's create a filter item so um, uh, we're gonna um, create a list of term uh, for this purpose uh, I I have created um, two categories of the post mm, if you take a look here uh, actually there is three uh, there are three the news sports and uncategorized <coughs> so each each post has uh, like more than 10 posts so uh, I need to to display these three uh, categories as a filter item so let's start by creating section and let's um, let's query the term by using a query uh, term of uh, from the bricks S um, let's see let's see oh yeah I'm gonna use this enable the query loop and I choose the type of query to the terms and choose the taxonomy uh, yep basically this is uh, this all done and then just um, create a basic text to show to show I uh, to show to yeah to to um, for a placeholder not pro not placeholder but for the for for showing the term name um, term ID term name yeah term name and let's let's see okay I have three categories now and we need one item for displaying all all the the posts um, so uh, what I need to do is just create a div and then create a basic text or yeah the basic text and replace the text with all yeah just all or let's let's name it all post and let's um, create a flex yep, let's make it center 
uh, yep, and add some gap, column gap like two ram, yep, and yeah, yep, 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 yep. I think it's done here. Oh, oh yeah. So, um, I need to <coughs> like. Okay. So uh, there now there are uh, the category item list on the page so if you take a look at this article what we need to do is mm, so this first first function is to display the category name so we already done that here um, but um, we need to like add some attribute um we're gonna use we're gonna create a data data slug attribute and then the, the value of the the, the the attribute is yeah the category slug or category id since um there is there is no slug on the dynamic data of uh, from the brick itself so let's see um li list a Okay, a a class ref um, li a so I think I need to make the external URL and then we yeah, use the same uh, value this is the value and then the data slug we're gonna create a data slug on here I think yeah on here so go to the style attribute add attribute and data slug but here here is the problem we don't have uh, like i said we don't have a slug data from the dynamic data there is only like term id term name archive url term description and yeah no slug um so we i need to um, modify a little bit not using data slug not using the slug of the term but using id of term uh, term id and yeah this is the optional you can change it or not but uh, since uh, i'm using id so it's better to rename it to id data id or term id yeah whatever well, i'm gonna use that id okay and don't forget to yeah i have the same um, url for the all posts button and so let's see our project yeah it has a data slug too data slug attribute too and so data data id and leave it blank like this Okay. And okay, let's see. Um, a ref data ID. So this is the ID of term, the term ID. Hey, yep, that's good. Okay, that's good. All the item now has a data ID, a term ID as the data I data ID value. So it's good. Um we can move to another uh, to, uh, to to the next step S uh, querying of our wordpress post okay um all right we can do this uh, on the brick itself um let's create another section or another block uh, or block inside the same container yeah whatever you can <coughs> you can um um, it's it's depend on you um, like I uh, will add a block so let's name it first block um, term name block post list yep okay <laughs> now uh, I'm gonna add uh, uh, let's let's create a uh, let's uh, display the post by using a query query loop um, block I'm gonna use div and 
let's enable the query post yeah post type post okay post per page i'm gonna use uh, i'm gonna use a six or yeah just six aja lah and let's create a standard um standard post list um i think i need an image and post title one image and one uh, one Im uh, the image the feature image and the post title okay okay let's make it grid um, display grid grid template column let's uh, use a three column repeat um, <coughs> three one everywhere yeah, yep gap to ram uh, yep uh, let's make a heading it for um, yep. um, let's center it okay uh, let's make the phone a little smaller one ram oops um, yeah I think yeah and this is this is better let's make image a ratio aspect ratio uh, much better root aspect ratio uh, one oh no usually the image standard image ratio which you get from the camera uh, it's three two <coughs> three per two and let's uh, make the um apa namanya the, the image proportional by using object fit cover object fit ah yep and let's uh, stretch the image ah yeah no caption okay cool and let's add some margin bottom like 4 m add a padding set ram no 4 m yep yeah i think this is better okay we already have a um the list post uh from the all post so we need to go to the next step the third step okay the wordpress filter with javascript so this is just a little bit a javascript to 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 trigger the ajax mm, get list item on click get list item remove class active add class active okay mm. we're gonna copy this to our um, javascript file or can we use a psp code hmm i think we can use psp code to apa namanya to to load the, the script um, code snippet yep code snippet okay get term name nope okay let's uh, add new okay the ajax filter name it ajax filter function and let's find out which snippet to apa namanya um, to to load the script a short code um, add script ah, here function <coughs> oh yeah here uh, I, I, uh, you can use this snippet I will share the link on the video description but I don't need this 
uh, you can run you can selective uh, uh, you can choose which 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 page should uh, load it this function but I will uh, make this globally that's mean this the script will be loaded on all the page um, script type javascript yeah, and yep just yeah it's like this just copy and paste it um get list item on click let's see get list item there is a class name class li get list item here so on uh, uh, this element which has a data slug or data id which i created so we need to add a get list item class name let's go back to our um, list of term so i think it's on the basic yep yeah, on the basic text just create a, just add a class name get list item and here here too get list item <coughs> okay let's see open up console and let's see ia class get list item okay cool uh, and let's see our script mm. Okay, let's save snippet and let's activate it. Let's active it. Activate it. Mm, okay, let's see. Ah, here. Eh, no, not 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 this one. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Where is that? On the header. Not this one. Oh, which one is that? Oh, there is error. It, sa it said there is error. Which one? Oh, yeah, I need to like um, close the PHP tag. Since this script type is not PHP it's html so i need to close down the php first and then here i need to open to um, add a php tag add action yeah i think this let's update it let's activate active it and let's see Oh, there is error. It said type error. Uh, the dollar sign is not function. Yeah, because I think um, where is that? Where is that? So let's see where our script is loaded. We oh, yeah, on the footer. Oh no, not footer, but on header. Yeah, on the head. Yeah, I'm sorry, not header, but on the head. I need to make it on footer. On the footer. Because um, this code, a uh, script need a jQuery to run. So um, let's say, okay, main script type. Okay, good. Um, um, let's see, let's see. I think I need to, 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 to run the, the script code after all document is loaded. So I need to change some, um, which one is that? Uh, where is that? You seeing I uh, here? Here, jQuery document ready function. 
so I need to put um, <coughs> this script code before um, the, the script I added before and don't forget to close it um, yeah close this yep let's update it okay no error that's good let's see if i click uh, the element with a catalyst item it should uh, add a class name active and then remove the the, the 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 same class name from other item so let's see if i click here okay the active element the active class name is added but error oh yeah whatever let's uh, leave it for now if i click this port okay the class name active is uh, added to this element instead and then remove the class active from the other element okay that's working now but there is something wrong bad request okay it's it's okay it's okay we will move to oh no 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 we uh, i need to like action filter project that, that is html the action filter project yeah this should be the name of our function here um, we will leave it for now but here i need to change this the category data slug uh, since i change the slug the data slug to data id yeah, i need to change it it to data slug data id and then the function rest yeah we need to change it to <coughs> okay the project tiles what is the project tiles oh here so the project tiles well, which you can see here so basically it will when we click the item all the the all the element the html element on inside the here inside the project tiles so that's mean the all the the the, the post which loaded uh, by the query will replace by the new one so if you click the, the the category here the news so all this item uh, will destroy or will remove and then the new item will create it the new yeah something like that i'm sorry if i wrong you can about you can correct me on the comment box below but i think it the, the idea it's it's the method is it it's something like that so um, let's uh, add a class name to our container uh, which one is that here yeah so this is the list this two is the list of the query term so this is the container of the the query term so i need to create um, class name to add class name to the to the container you can say it wrapper is you can say it container you can say it a parent element yeah <coughs> it's whatever whatever you think uh, it make easier for you to remember okay here okay okay um yep i think oh yeah there is error of course there is error because we we have not defined our function uh, which we will uh, go uh, create on the next step so which one is that uh, here so we just need to like copy the function and put in here okay post type uh, so we're gonna modify a little bit 
category ya yeah. category category is the slug of the term uh, the slug of the taxonomy I mean not term post type we're gonna use the post post per page ya yeah. category name cat slug uh, we need to see what what is what is the cat slug cat slug cat slug post category category name cat slug post category here so this will define our our value of the cat slug but we are not using cat slug so it's better to rename it to cat id cat id and then we're gonna change the the, the, the apa namanya the attribute of the category name change it since we're gonna using the id um, where is that let's see category name category name oh yeah here category name use category slug we are not using slug so we are using a cat instead um, so change the category name to cat Okay, order this order by yeah, we're gonna leave it for now respawn get template parts okay we're gonna leave it um, yeah just let's save it first okay, let's reload it and let's let's click okay there is something going on here <laughs> what's that Oh, sorry, sorry. It, uh, I was wrong. So, the the class name project tile should uh, should not add um, <coughs> into the parent of the term, but it instead it should add it should add into the parent of the post list. So uh, I need to add to the here. I think yeah, this element. Which one is that? Um, the project tile yeah I'm sorry I was wrong again you need to add a class name project tiles to the post list uh, parent element or post list container yeah something like this all right let's see okay if I click one of the term name uh, the the post query the post list should be um there should be chain or at least there should be uh yeah so the the the, the post list is uh, removed or deleted the post list element deleted and the ajax should uh, display another post which has uh, which inside the news category but there is something wrong because we don't uh, I, I have not actually uh, here the response yeah I need to like modify this this response the success response um, it should have used this template the same template with this so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new template or you can say that uh, or we can use like um blog post list yeah here so this uh the, the item of the query loop save as a save as template and let's define it like the ajax or uh, the the post post grid element uh yeah it's like this post grid element ajax and save as template all right and then um, let's go to our template and we're gonna insert the short code into this response where is the short code here eh copy to eh how to copy <laughs> the short code what is the short code ok 
okay oh yeah see i need to copy this shortcode template uh, to make uh, it as a response success response into our ajax um which one is that e code snippet yep here mm, ajax filter function yep respawn get template part ya yeah, here um, like echo uh, like to short code oh i think i have one i have the function on my website add short code from function um no do short code i think the short do short code function uh we're gonna use that uh, here e echo do short code yeah just let's copy this and echo do short code and then we're gonna just like copy the, the short code of the template of the post template <laughs> yeah oh yeah here um let's update it i'm not sure this this will be working or no but it should be working okay all post if i click news come on nope if i click sport nothing change and categorize I ah uh, let's let's open uh, the 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 apa the finish uh, the finish snippet which I did on my for my website let's see let's see I forget <coughs> I forget maybe there's some uh, code which I should modify let's see. Oh here. Do short code. Oh, I don't. I oh, I should not use do short code. I should not use echo. Then I need to remove the echo. Here, yeah, something like this. And let's. I'm not sure why the code is is become inactive. Maybe because there is some wrong. There is something. There was something wrong on my code. Okay, so let's let's try again. Click the news. Oh. Oh. Click the spot. Oh yeah, there is something. There is something going on here so the if i click one the post list is deleted you see like flash and then uh, it it replaced by other by the new one but the filter is not working um let's see wh how why why it's not going why it's not uh, apa namanya why is not uh, working Um, let's see query all template post template okay query all template hmm wait wait filter post yeah this ring of class html data action filter project yeah data slug before send not 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 at action mm, let's see our let's see our snippet success ah here success function rest but here 
I'm using success function res ya yeah. project nah it's same projectile HTML res nah it's same filter project cut ID oh maybe just maybe just maybe I need to like disable the the, the query the query loop on the template Ah, here you see there is the, the query loop is enabled maybe I need to like uh, disable that first okay let's let's refresh and then let's click news ah I think this working yep oh, okay 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 let's see let's see let's see our post the news has a s an uh, egg egg post and let's click news it should show eight posts one two three four five six seven eight yep just working and let's see uh, what is that category um, let's see which post has belonged to the news category as nula voluptas as nula where is as nula here voluptas here yeah uh, i think we should apa namanya mm. the order is really mess up the order the order of post is mess up it should be order by date let's see eh let's see our snippet ayak filter function yeah let's edit it and uh, here order this now I need to like mo change it to just default aja default let's update it Okay, let's let's click news. Okay. As nula voluptas tempore. As nula voluptas tempore. Aku santium ut eos. Aku santium ut eos ipsam saepe. Ipsam saepe and the last is post filtering for. Ah, yep. Yep, yep. So, I think this working. Uh, if I click all posts, uh, yep. Elegant, let's see. Elegant, let's see our our uh, the 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 last update post. Elegant, yeah. See, elegant, yeah. All posts, yep. If I click the sport, elegant, uh, yeah. Sport here. The categories of sport. Ele elegant is. Um, under the category sports and uncategorized so if I click sport Ali Gendi should uh, um, the first post and if I click uncategorized the Ali Gendi should be yeah that's right the first post of the the yeah the post list from the post list yep and yeah you can change if you need if you need like yeah you, you change the the apa namanya mm. you you wanna uh, change the, the the design of the the query loop yeah maybe you can maybe you need to like add something here yeah you can do some just like like uh, post date okay and then what you need to do is just copy and paste it onto your post template yeah here paste it save it and let's see okay 
now we have a post date and if I click news uh, yup the post date is still there yeah I think this is good this good approach the very simple one the very simple method which I found and you can follow it uh, of course I will share the link of the source um, on my video so but but the next step is uh, we we still uh, actually uh, uh, if you see here on all posts the post item is like because we don't define the 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 post per page value you know, if you see here um, here post per page minus one so it's mean um, the number the total number of posts is infinite so it will uh, display all the posts under the the, the, the categorize uh, that's bad yeah that's bad that's not good that's bad because um, it's better to have some pagination or some like the ajax um, load more uh, to apa namanya to make the the loading page is faster yeah it's bad to like if you have like 10 posts on the news category yeah it will it will be bad if we don't define or we don't the set the limit of the page but yeah if if you set the limit of the post uh, we need to have a pagination of course or the load more feature but I, I will not cover it on this video instead um, I will make the video tutorial on the next video uh, so um, yeah if you have any, any question or suggestion please write on the comment box below thank you for watching and happy coding